Maka's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maka here playing Starfield, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a upgraded ship, which will allow you to smuggle contraband, as well as a legendary spacesuit very early on in the game. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is find a spacer, which is a specific enemy type. And once you eliminate that enemy, you can search their body for something specific called the secret outpost note. The earliest you can do this in the game is pretty early in the main mission called the That's old fun. neighborhood. At the end of this mission, you'll be sent to the Nova Galactic Star Yard. Once you board, there will be a bit of a space fight happening. On one side of that fight are the spacers. Take care of them and search all of their bodies, finding the secret outpost note. Picking up this note will then trigger a side mission called Mantis, and this is what we're gonna be focusing on for the rest of the video. To get the ball rolling and get things started, what you're gonna have to do is go into your inventory and choose the secret outpost note open it up for the next set of instructions. Now, the Mantis mission does take place a couple of stars away. The recommended level is 30, but I think that is overkill. I did it at level 17 and found it very easy, although your mileage may vary. Following the Mantis mission chain will bring you to that secret outpost. Enemies will vary in their level and their ability, but what we need to do is sneak into the actual lair itself and the mission itself is pretty straightforward. You'll be navigating through some narrow tunnels, defeating enemies, looting those enemies for more and more information, and that information will bring you deeper and deeper into the secret outpost. Along the way, you may also find some items that require an expert lockpick, which is worth having during this mission, as you can get quite a few extra things done if you're here with that ability. Luckily, this mission is just filled with extremely valuable items, whether they're weapons or just things you can use for crafting. If you're feeling encumbered, you can talk to your companion and let them hold on to some extra stuff before you finish the mission. Luckily for me, a lot of the enemies also dropped a lot of med packs, so healing wasn't much of an issue, and I had a lot of ammo that I primarily used for this one weapon. Now, near the end of the mission, there's a pretty daunting gauntlet of turrets, and you may try to run across and not be able to make it. They're also a really high level, so shooting them isn't very useful. There is a computer that you can hack to turn them off, but it requires you to have master lockpicking, which you don't need. Instead, all you really need is to open up your inventory and you'll want to take some items that make you run faster and that give you damage resistance. I would also highly recommend making a manual save before attempting the run just to be safe. And once you're ready, just sprint across and activate the button at the end to turn them off. You may take some damage along the way, but hopefully you make it through. And once you make it through, you are almost done. You'll then end up entering into the Mantis Lair, revealing the Mantis directly in front of you. There's also an optional side quest, which I highly recommend for grabbing the legendary spacesuit. So let's grab the legendary spacesuit first by taking two lefts and entering into one of the side rooms here, claiming our loot and feel free to immediately put it on. You will be able to pick up the spacesuit, the pack, and the helmet. Each one of them has three perks of its own. The spacesuit makes you more resistant to energy damage, automatically uses your med pack if you fall low, and can repulse enemies. The pack allows you to crouch and become invisible, resources will weigh less, and it will also cause enemies near you to spontaneously combust and the helmet will allow you to have 15% less damage from robots, additional corrosive resistance, and an additional chance to light nearby enemies on fire. Now head into the lair, interact with the mission marker to activate the lift controls, then follow the mission markers to end up back above ground and claim your prize. In order to do that, go into the back of the ship and then sit in the cockpit. This will now be your home ship and there are some pretty big advantages to having this over the starter ship. First of all, the ship has a better reactor, which allows you to allocate more of those points to the ship systems you want. What I also like about it is that it has a really high value and it gets added obviously to your uh, ship total and you'll need 10 ships for an achievement. 
but it also has a shielded capacity, which means that you can smuggle contraband onto some planets that don't allow it now. I'll have a separate video about how that works. I'm gonna keep the video short and sweet, but you now have really great armor and a really cool ship. Thank you for watching. Drop a like, share the video with a friend. Thanks everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. I'll see you soon. Peace.